You may begin. My name is Jason, and have you guys ever lost a family member or a loved one who didn't feel like you gave them enough work to have been more? That's why I started making my flower arrangements, because I missed it. I felt guilty, so I wanted to give them something beautiful to leave with. So. <clears throat> There's like all kinds of different flower arrangements that you can make for like every occasion. Birthdays, memorials, funerals. As Sally said, mine has always just been for funerals for family members. Um, I just had always used fake flat flowers because you could customize them more. Make, make more of whatever. You learn about the person that you're making for, if you knew the person. So, but I just kind of, the ones I'm using now are just stuff I had to lay around my house because I got rid of all my stuff and I moved up here a couple weeks ago. Um, so, mine's always been for like, you know, like I said, and, but usually you want to get information about the person that you make them for, so you know, like your favorite colors or if there's a theme to the orange of the one. And for the, the materials, for the stuff one, you go buy the materials, which is usually involves like a wire cutter, the flowers, the colors of the flowers that you pick out. Um, oh, there's, if you're making one for like a memorial or a, a grave site, then it's called a saddle. You want to pick out so it can overlay it on the casket or the, on, the grave, on the grave, or just pots or vases or anything. Um, like I said, I just have this little pot <laughs> for my house that I had. And the floor, you also want like foam, foam that you'll get. It's usually like in these little green they cut out and then the, you'll measure it to the size of the top of the flower pot or the bottom depending on if it's when you go in the casket. The wire cutter to cut these you usually have like a metal thing going through them so you can stick them in there. And blue, I never really used to blue, but like if you don't keep it in place intact more the longer. <clears throat> That's kind of messy. <laughs> and let's see so so you cut off, just depending on the size of the pot or whatever, you'll cut, you'll cut the flower. And usually if you're doing one that overflows, right in the center of it, it'll be the longest flower that you have. And you just kind of work around it. And the, the leaves are the base, like, on the outline, or the out, outer part of the pot, depending on the way you're making it. Because it kind of hugs it and makes it all come together. So let's see what nice guys <laughs> cut these leaves on the end But then they go to start, like, I just put, putting the flowers inside the foam. Stick them inside here. This foam is not the right kind. Okay, step two, so I just kind of put you know, the flowers or the leaves around it. I have all different kinds too. I don't know where I'm going to incorporate them, but it'll, it'll look nice at the end. <laughs> Hopefully. And then the more you start to put in, the like, then you start taking them out and redoing them to see how everything looks and comes together. I did have a lot, I had bags and bags full of big grass and <laughs> flowers at one point in time. I decided to get rid of them soon. Luckily to say I didn't have to do anything lately. And when I moved up here, I started rid of everything that I wanted. <laughs> started off different. Mm -hmm. So like these I could probably cut down more. So they matched up with the leaves and stuff. Yeah. 
way to change this photo. <laughs> photo is still the name. This flower actually came on a long stem. You can just cut them all off. <clears throat> that one for, for one of my cousins when she passed away a couple years ago. I also leave those flowers out there in deafness too. <laughs> There's many different ways to customize everything. These I had ordered a long time ago. They're actually just little walls. <laughs> for mine and everything. <coughs> I use all different kinds of stuff to customize them. It always made me feel better, you know, to leave them with something beautiful to leave with if I wasn't around them for a while. Or... Buy more more green stuff to put on the bottom to overflow and make it look better. Mm Thanks for now. Mm -hmm. 